them entirely silent this race. And the reason for that is, is this battle was absolutely f intense from start to finish. Wow, what a race. Uh, definitely worth, I think, watching the whole thing. Uh, you got to see how this one really turns out. Hello, I'm Jonathan Burnham, a.k.a. Kalos. I almost didn't record this one. I'm really glad I did. This was really supposed to be a throwaway race. It's always the ones you don't expect that really turn out to be pretty awesome. This was nose to tail racing from start to finish with an epic final lap. I really hope you enjoy this one because I sure did. Also, I'm going to voice this one over because even though I was recording myself, I was silent the whole time as because of how intense this race was. So, cheers. Uh, just a quick note before this race starts, I do include a, the, the adjustments I made to the Audi for this race, both for qualifying and into the actual race. So if you're interested, I qualified with a 121.5. You can see that the leader did a 121.4. So we were pretty evenly matched and you'll see that throughout this race. All right, getting ready to start the race. Yeah, like my livery? I usually use it when I kind of want to make a statement. As I get the feeling sometimes. So here at the start, we've got... Uh, I'm not, I can't remember his name, but... Uh, I get a really good launch, but I think twice, uh, quality. I think twice about trying to go around the outside. You can see I get a little bump right there. I, I really decided to keep the inside. I figured I could absorb a, bunt, a little bit of a punt as long as it wasn't major. And... I was kind of right. I just wanted to play it safe in this first lap. You got cold tires, they're medium tires, so you don't have the stopping power or the grip that you're used to from qualification. And I just want to kind of keep up with the leader. I here I'm a little worried, as I can see he's kind of getting away. Uh, but I was worried about the guy behind me. So the guy in the BMW behind me is st finally starting to fall away. He's hitting that one second mark. I can really look forward. Looks like Baldy made a bit of a mistake. He slid around a bit. Uh, just like I said, cold tires on mediums uh, can be a little iffy when you're starting the race. So at this point, I really just want to stay close to him. Uh, I, one of the things about Forza Motorsport, uh, so some of the top players are complaining about it, and I'm kind of going to use it to my advantage in this race, is that if you're within, they say 0.2 seconds, but I think it affects you even if you're within like a half a second. Uh, it, the dirty air causes a wash on your rear end and can really make your rear end loose, making it difficult to get away from people. Even if they're like half a second or a second a lap slower than you, it's really hard as your rear end is sliding out to get away from people. You can see right there, I, I didn't quite get close enough to kind of get beside him, but that's okay his mistake let me get right on his tail i almost hit him right there i'm like okay i know where he breaks at that lap right now but i, I have a real at this point i'm like okay i'm right on him i just need to stay right on his tail and, and it kind of goes back and forth through most of the race uh for the most part in the first five laps i'm not really gonna do much in a way of trying to make a move i might try to make him a little nervous but I really just want to stick on his tail and really put the pressure on. When you have somebody who's right on your tail, it creates a lot of pressure. So not only is he dealing with the, the tail wash of the dirty air, he's also dealing with the pressure of me being right on top of him. One of the things I noticed coming through this last corner is I take the, tend to take it a little slower. He gets through it quicker, probably about a tenth faster. But I get on the gas a lot sooner than him. Uh, the draft isn't this strong, and I'm running pretty high arrow. So I was really surprised at my straight line speed on him. He uh, goes defensive. I'm just going to hold the outside line and kind of see if I can get him to compromise. Uh, he really kind of parks it there, so there isn't much in the way of cutback. But that's okay. As long as I'm right there, I know these kind of arrow important corners but you can see the dirty air can kind of affect you in the rear too usually it's the front end though 
And that's especially, I noticed through here, the dirty air can kind of make it hard to get on the gas and pointed the straight line, uh, this S section. It's getting away from me a little bit here, so I'm like, usually in these races, I'll kind of start losing it at some point. But uh, I keep my head down. I'm, I'm really in, into this one. I'm having a lot of fun here. I mean, it might not look like it, but it, it, you don't get races like this very often. When they come along, they're kind of special, and they seem to come out of nowhere, too. Anytime you're looking for this, you don't get it, and then you just do a throwaway race, and boom, there it is. I'm lucky to have this recorded. Again, I got great straight line speed on him. Uh, he goes defensive. And I just kind of hold the outside, break a little early. I don't want to run into him. I just want to good, get a good follow on him out of the corner. We are running out of laps. I'm going to start, I'm starting to wonder if he's going to make a mistake. I figured right now, if I managed to stay on his rear, he would have made a mistake that would have let me by. And I've been wrong so far. makes a mistake going into here but I can't really take advantage of this I had to slow up but it does give me a run on the outside I don't think I can hang it on the outside but I want to see if I can compromise his corner he does slot right in front of me though I'm being really cautious through here because I don't want to bottle it myself and I want to try and be as close as I can coming down through this section. And, yeah, I didn't do it. You can see he goes a little wide there, and I think that compromised. He had to lift off the throttle a bit, and I'm able just to put the hammer down. And you see how much I'm closing up on him. Again, just follow him through. Stay right on his tail. We are getting to the point that the medium tires are going to start wearing out. And the question is, is that really going to play much of a role in the last lap? Now, I know this is critical because this is the moment going into the last lap that I really need to be right on his tail. And the best chance I potentially have for a pass is going to be down that long straight. I come out of the corners really close to him, closer than I had been. So I know I'm going to have a nice run on him. Again, he's going defensive. I'm going to take the outside line. I really wish I had a radar at this point because I didn't know if I could slide in in front of him. But I, I hold the outside line. There's a little bit of contact there, but I felt it was fair play. And I contacted him, so I go for the inside. He goes for the outside. I'm thinking I can get through the corner, but I see him pop out on my right. And he gets a nice run out of there. And I'm like, oh, man, I think... I think he's got it. You notice he goes really cautious through here and I get a massive run on him again. I'm like, oh wow, I have a chance here. I'm gonna go to the outside. I leave him some space on the inside, but I am pinching him. And I just slot through ahead of him. He just wasn't able to get through on the inside. So at this point, He's on my tail, and I'm worried about that wash causing a mistake, so I'm being a bit cautious. And he's close enough that I know it'll cause it, but it looks like I got enough space that I was able to get through there pretty cleanly. Take it cautious through the last corner. I know I get a better run than him out of here. Just put the hammer down. 
Wow, what a race. Holy cow. Oh my god, I can't believe I won that. Oh. Wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Yikes, that was a great race. Patience, patience, patience paid off. And oh, thank God he was a clean racer. I thought he had me. He made a single mistake and it cost him. I think he may have underestimated what the tire wear will do to you on the last lap, but wow. What a race. Yeah, we were both in the Audi, but you know what? I'll take that. That that was exciting. This is when Forza works. Nice work out there. P1. Wow. Quality. I have to remember his name. Send him a message. Because that was that was that was something else. Oh. I think the pressure got to him. Oh, I thought it was going to bottle it too at the end. Wow. I need a break. <laughs> ah. This is my VIR North qualification that I used. It's almost the same as the Road America tune. I only made a couple adjustments to the anti-roll bars and to the arrow. And of course, I got a hold on a sec. Uh, so I'll, I'll slip through here. You can pause it if you want to copy it. You can see the roll bars. I went down to 31.23 from like 39.31. Uh, just the VIR really throws off the cars with those curbs and you just wanted it to be able to absorb them again the only changes are the anti-roll bars and the downforce 375 on the front 470 on the rear it is a little stable unstable through the last few corners you got to be careful but with a little bit of practice you'll be good for qualification and that's my uh bir north qualification build Okay, this is the actual race tune I used. Again, the only adjustments I made were the anti-roll bars and the uh, arrow. However, I will go through this for anyone who hasn't seen my tuning uh, video where I show off 17 tunes. Uh, that way you can copy it here. These will be available for download as well. So I'll give you just a couple seconds on each one. And of course, that's assuming I can. There we go. A couple seconds on each one. Uh, this is where I made a change from the, uh, this is where I made a change from the qualification build. I, I went with softer ARBs again and lowered the rear more just for a bit more stability. So 3021 as opposed to 3123. Again, I adjusted the uh, arrow. I lowered the front. Raise the rear up just a little bit. I really wanted to get some stability coming out of the last couple of corners, which can really throw a car off so I could get on the throttle. And you'll see it, you see in the race that actually paid off for me. All right, you can, This that's the tune. That was the race. I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, enjoyed this and uh, take care.